Hello YouTube, I uh, just want to make a quick video and show you how to prepare for a solar panel installation um, after you've installed the, the rails. So I'm using the Iron Ridge XR100 rails here. Um, I've got them all installed per plan. Uh, and then once you get that done, the next phase will be to install the microinverters and the cabling. I'm assuming you're doing microinverters. So these are the Enphase IQ7A microinverters. So, um, I got two panels that are laid on there, not attached yet. That's, that's what today's work is for. But one of is just show you guys how to get it all lined up first. So before you lay out any panels, you want to grab a tape measure and you want to obviously, based on your configuration, your array, you want to lay out a tape measure and we'll take this simple case here this simple row this is a row that's going to only have two panels so what you do is you lay out your tape measure and you come to the very edge and you measure about one or two inches depending on your situation but no less than one the stopper sleeve there's a stopper sleeve that comes with the racking i'll show you what it looks like These stopper sleeves, they're basically the, the Iron Ridge uh, bolts. Looks like this, and it attaches right on. The stopper sleeve cannot be closer than one inch from the edge. So about one inch right there. So what you do is you measure one inch in, and then you take the width of your panel in my case, it's about 40 inches, 39 inches. So we'll say round it up to 40. Take half of that and you want the microinverter to line up around the center of the panel. So you take half that distance. See, for me, it's right around that 21 inch mark. And then you lay in the microinverter bolts. So once you lay in the first one, then you measure the width of your panel to the next microinverter. So in my case, it's around 40 inches. So if my first microinverter is at 21 inches, the next one is right around the 61 inch mark. And then you keep going. So that's how you know where you install the microinverters to be roughly around the center of every panel. Then the next thing you do is you take this cabling take your cabling and lay it on the roof. And the reason why you do that is as you're attaching the AC side, this is the AC side of the cable, you want to make sure that the cable runs under the microinverter, you see that? Not over it, you want it under the microinverter. Then you use the cable ties to tie, tie it all together. If you have a cable that spans multiple rows so in my case here i got a row right here another row of panels you would basically let the cable go over the rail just like this keep it nice and tight not a whole lot of stack you don't want any, any cables on the roof and then i'll show you here real quick goes over to the next micro inverter over um, as you lay out your cables and connect it to the microinverters, check your connections. Make sure that those connectors click. And also make sure that you use as many cable ties as you need to make the cable look nice and tucked into the rails. As you can see, I got no cables hanging. You don't want any cables hanging. You don't want any extra slack. Um, and you want to set up your cable ties in a manner that ensures that you don't actually end up, um, if a cable drops or isn't attached over time, you want to make sure you don't have any extra slack that's dropping the cable on the roof. Once you get your microinverters laid and ready to go, then it's plug and play for solar panels. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.